Now, this is the stats of uh, people with degree and people with uh, vocational qualification. Now, uh, a degree qualification uh, is a person who goes and does any sort of degrees are after after school and vocational uh, qualification are people with uh, technical qualification like a plumber or an electrician or uh, anything that is uh, technical related. They don't have a degree, they, they, they have a vocational qualification. They do a diploma of some sort. Okay, now this is the question that we have. Do people with degree earn higher weekly wage than the than people with vocational qualification? You've got two types of people, uh, one with degree and the other with vocational qualification. Now this is the stats, this is the weekly wage of um, people in two groups. So this is the minimum, low quartile, median, uh, upper quartile, maximum. Okay, so these are the numbers. <clears throat> now you've got sample size of 30. Both have been, uh, both have the same sample size. This is interquartile range, which is upper quartile minus lower quartile. So let me show you that. So when you run, so this is, uh, this is your maximum. So this is your lower quartile. So you go 1146.25, take away. Uh, this is your median, so this is your lower quartile minus 650. It's 496.75, yes, it's, this should be 275, uh, not 25. 1146.75, yeah. Take away 650 is 496.25. And this is your, so let me delete that, 868. 868, which is your upper quartile, minus 462.5, 62.5, oops, delete, delete, um, delete, 462.5 is 405.5, okay. Now, I have drawn the box in whisker. So this is the minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and so on. So this is the weekly wage going up in 200s. Now we want to answer the question based on this stats and this box and whisker, whether uh, the box and whisker tells me that this is to the right, the box of graduates is to the right of, uh, this is for vocational. So this is for the vocational people with vocational qualification. Okay, now, can we make a judgment based on these stats that graduates earn more or vocational people earn more than, of course, uh, here we can very clearly see this box is to the right, the graduates box is greater, is to the right of vocational. So we want to make a judgment whether graduates are earning more than uh, vocational uh, trade people. So we need to look at these stats. We need to look at the median shift, which is the difference between this median, so this is 892 minus 630. So that's what I've done. So the median shift is $262. So you can say the median, the difference between the median between graduates and vocational trained people is 462.5. Now, is this a big difference to make the claim back in the population that graduates earn higher weekly wage than vocationally trained people? Now, for that, we need to answer, we need to find some other stats, which is, this is the next thing that you need to calculate is the overall visible spread, which is this, let me use a different, let me use a dotted line. Uh, this, the, this, the difference between this, that is the lower quartile, and this upper quartile is called the overall visible spread. So this difference or this distance is the overall visible spread. And that's what I've done. That is one, <coughs> 1,146. So this is 1,146 minus 462.5, which is 682, 684, sorry. And then we need to calculate the percentage of median shift 
uh, with respect to the overall vis visible spread. So you, what you do is you divide the median shift divided by the overall visible spread, which is, so let me show you that. So uh, this is 262, this divided by this times 100. So it is 262.5 divided by 684. This is as a decimal and you change that as a percent, so times it by 100. So you can say this is, I'm rounding it to 1 dp. So rounding it to 1 dp, the, this as a percent is 38.4 percent. Now what does this mean? This means the median shift is about 38.4 percent of the overall visible spread. Now let's understand the maths. So what does that mean? That this median, which is 630, if it has to coincide with this median, which is 892.5, this box has to move 38% or 38.4% of the overall visible spread. And that's what I've said, which implies median shift is about 38% of the overall visible spread. Now, this is a rule that you need to remember when you're making inference. Okay, so this is a rule. This is the rule of a thumb for a sample of 30. Now, this is a rule. Now, to make a claim back in the population of people with qualification of a degree and vocational qualification with a sample of 30. So this whole sentence in short means, if you want to make the claim back in the population with a sample of 30, this is very important. Now, one thing that you should never forget is you're using a sample of 30 people randomly chosen and then you're going to talk about the whole population of people who have a degree and the people who have got a vocational qualification. You've got two populations, one with degree and one with vocation. So this is a sampling. You're taking only a sample of 30 and you need to go back and talk about the whole population. Now, as this is obvious that the median of graduate is greater than the median of uh, median of the people with vocational training. But this is, this, from this you cannot make the claim that this is big. You have to talk in terms of stats. So this is the rule that with a sample of 30, if you want to make any claim, the median shift should be greater than one third. One third as a percent is 33 and one third percent of the overall visible spread. This is the rule. The median shift should be greater than one third of the overall visible spread if you want to make any claim with a sample of 30 back in the population. Okay, so this is my conclusion. Therefore, we can make the claim back in the population that a person with a degree tends to earn greater than a person uh, with vocational qualification. Okay, greater uh, weekly wage, I'll specify here, weekly, greater, weekly wage, because we're talking about the weekly wage, than a person with vocational qualification. Okay, now this is a different way of looking at it, is to look at the confidence interval, informal confidence interval for median. Now the formula is the median, then this is the formula for informal confidence interval, it is median plus or minus 1.5 times interquartile range interquartile range divided by square root of n, where n is the sample size. So here, so let me show you how I got 756, so I need these stats. So, so for this, uh, this is, so let me write, this is the median, I'll write m, and this is i, interquartile range, i, q, r, I need to see this. And this is median, this is n, so let me get the calculator. So what you do is median, which is for this it is 892.5, sorry, 892.5 minus 1.5 times interquartile range, which is 496.75 divided by shift square root of 30, which is 456.4, and that's why I wrote 450, sorry, 756. 756 okay and for upper limit what you do is you change this minus to plus all the other facts remains the same so this is an interval that's why we write uh, plus or minus 
so which is 1029 I'm rounding it to the whole number so the in informal conference interval for the people with graduates so this is we're talking about the population median now from the sample median we're going to talk instead of saying that the whole population have it has a median of this is only a sample median now from sample median we want to make the claim of the whole population so this is an estimate that the population of graduates would have the median weekly wage between 756 and 1029 and same way for uh, the people with vocational qualification you can make the claim that the population of people with vocational qualification have the median weekly wage between 519 and 741. Now if you look at these two intervals there's no overlap. In fact if you look at this this is starting from 519 to 741 and this is starting from 751 to 1000 so there is no overlap in the informal conference interval. So this is also also leads us to the same conclusion as there is no overlap the graduates are earning tend to earn more than so back in the population of people or persons with degree and vocational qualification we're going to talk back in the population we can make the claim that a person with a degree qualification tends to earn higher weekly wage than a person with vocational qualification Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next.